Right, what up guys? Big Daddy, Big Daddy Customs back again. Um, yeah, 55, did the doors. And uh, I think they came out pretty good. Let me go ahead and show you guys right quick. Look at that. Isn't that just smooth as a baby's ass cheeks? Uh, it's smooth. It, it it doesn't catch on anything. I mean, I couldn't believe it turned out as good as it did. Um, trunk still needs work, as you can see. I've got a huge gap I need to fill, but that's hinged as well. So that works great too. Now the passenger side didn't turn out because this one flops around a little more than the other one, other side. But I still got it. I mean, uh, the frames, the door frames, seem to do, seem to look pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, touch it up and build in the door jams and all that mess, and should be good. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Show you guys how it's coming. So that's that. I also, I'm doing an amp rack, and I'm not doing the uh, inverted sub. I'm going to do a sunk-in sub right here, and the two amps right here, um, just to just to save room and behind the seats, because I still have to put um, a cage, you know, the four-point cage, and then the post going back, and then the post going forward, so... Um, in order to save room in there, not so, not be so cramped and tight, then I figured I'd just do the one here and just put the two amps here. I gotta finish all this. This isn't final, well, obviously, but uh, I gotta finish all this in and you know make it look good. And then uh, I'm gonna should be able to start doing the painting on the interior and all that uh, next week. So that's that. Um, you guys, some of you guys probably have already known that uh, I just did a deal with a uh, new uh, subscriber of mine, um, Dre Garcia, um, Blockboy TV One, I think it was, and uh, I ended up getting this uh, Cedric from him, so old Nissan Cedric. Um, I think it's a mid 70s model I'm not exactly sure but uh yeah I mean, it was it's a cool car to begin with um and he did a pretty good job on it you know I mean he did a great job on it and uh but I think I'm gonna have to go through and make it you know put my own little flair on it um when it did come when it came when it got here it had you know it was missing a couple little windshield wipers the rear view mirror fell off and like this tail light here or was oh, maybe not loose anymore but you know just a couple things and it's a curbside kit so you know the underside is molded which you guys know I'm not a big fan of but you know whatever um I can always cut it out and I can do like a SR20 turbo motor for it or you know something so I'll figure it all out um I really like the wheels on this thing though look at that the wheels are really sweet so yeah well, that's that and then I got a new kit um you guys may have seen this before I'm not exactly sure if I put it out there yet but uh it's an 87 fiber GTA and this was this is the kit that I was inquiring about if anybody had seen um, well this is similar to the kit um, oh yeah this is the wheels I got from Dre Garcia as well that was really cool um, but uh, back in high school um, you guys have probably seen it already but um, I've, I know I've showed you guys pictures but uh, back in high school I had at one point I had an 84 or 85 Camaro and I had an 80 or a 91 Camaro RS V8 well my buddy Ian who I live with in Wilmington 
had an 84 Camaro uh, V6 5 speed and my buddy Jeremy had an 86 Firebird so back when I had my 85 Camaro it was 84 Camaro 85 or 84 Camaro 85 Camaro and 86 Firebird and we all rolled together through high school so um, what I was thinking about doing is finding each one of those cars in 124 scale and building them um, like this guy is the, my buddy Jeremy's Firebird has not exactly but similar to these five spoke wheels on it so I was going to do that um, naturally this one came with the GTA front end so I want to build it like the V6 model the base model 2.8 um, which some of you may know didn't have the uh, lower valance on the bottom here so I will be trimming that off Finishing, finishing it in to, and it's going to be flush flat underneath right underneath here um, you know so it doesn't have that lower ground effect it's just going to come back to the air dam that's back here in front of the radiator so and then I won't be using that hood I'll be using finishing in um, the other hood for it because it will be easier to do and uh, making you know the V6 hood out of this and um, doing it that way and then doing painting this car like his is painted now um, so I figured that would be a cool little uh, deal to build all three of our cars from high school um, now my buddy Jeremy who owns that Firebird is the only one who still has uh, his car from high school um, unfortunately I don't have mine and neither does my friend Ian so um, we miss them desperately so uh, I figured doing that and uh, finding an 84 Camaro V6 would be would be the other awesome thing to do um, so yeah who knows we'll see um, but uh hold on a second here so yeah, um, but anyway, uh, that's just a quick update, um, just to let you guys know kind of what's going on and what I've gotten in, um, so, but yeah, uh, you guys hit up the comment section, uh, let me know what you think, um, as far as 55 is concerned, uh, the doors and all that good stuff, so, um, maybe if you guys got some insight on Cedric, uh, which way I should go with that or um, you know any background information um, I haven't been able to find much on the car so um, who knows so anyway but yeah hit me up take it easy Big Daddy Big Daddy Customs I'm out make it back to the 55 so y'all take it easy alright peace What up, everybody? A hey, um, quick, quick thing before I go, um, before I end this video for good. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to, you know, all the uh, the new, new young cats, the fresh breed of uh, modelers that have been coming out, coming out of the woodwork here lately, um, and some of my new subscribers. Um, I thank every, each and every one of you. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys keep me doing what I'm doing. I enjoy seeing what you guys are doing. And uh, these young cats are, are coming out with some cool stuff. Um, a lot more advanced than I was when I was their age. Um, I mean, this, this hobby as a whole has come so far since I started back when I was like 10, 12, 13, you know. Um... There's just so much you can do with these cars nowadays. I mean, you could have done it back then, but nobody really knew about it or thought about it. Um, and I hadn't seen it. And, you know, ever since I've gotten back into the hobby here in the last, oh, I don't know, year or so, um, since I've been back on YouTube, um, 
things have just it's exploded and it's it's ridiculous so um i'm loving every minute of it so uh but yeah let me go ahead and throw out a few of these names here um jc klein he's one of my new subscribers uh jeffrey donna keith um thank you uh mr mac 552 i think that's mmcg something something custom garage can't remember exactly man sorry but uh He's one of the new young cats, and he's been he's been getting some pretty cool stuff out there too. Uh, Ramp stage, or ramp stage. Uh, is one of my new subscribers. Scale Auto Customizer, um, Viper Strike 58. He's got some cool stuff. Um, Lockboy TV One, which I did this deal with uh, for that blue uh, Cedric, and. Um, what was it? Uh, air tank, some subs, uh, one of which I'm using in the 55, and I think a Harley Harley bike uh, chopper, um, which I'm still going to send out that payment, dude. I haven't forgot about you. Uh, like I said, things have been crazy here lately, so, um, you know, we they just got back from visiting uh, her stepdad, or her dad in the hospital yesterday, so. Um, as soon as I can do that, as soon as, you know, everything gets squared away here, I will, uh, go down there and send you that money, man. I ain't forgot about you. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to send it. I promise you. Um, but he has recently shut down that Blockboy TV one page, and it's now Lippin' Boy Customs, L-I-P-A-N-B-O-I Customs, C-U-M-S-T. C U S T O M Z. So uh yeah guys check him out. Um and not last but not least Lance Lightning Ten. Um really cool kid, really cool guy, he seems to uh really enjoy the uh really enjoy the hobby. Um you know, sucks you got in that accident man, but you know, you're here, you get to share this hobby with us man. We're glad that you're here. Um, you know, I mean, you seem like you're still full of life and energetic and everything. So, hey, props to you, man. Um, oh, by the way, that uh, that rotating thing you had your paint cans in—that was that was a pretty cool, little, pretty cool little thing. Uh, might have to get one of those. So, anyway, yeah, this is Big Daddy, Big Daddy Customs. I just wanted to send out a shout out to you guys. Um, and as far as the rest of my subscribers, you know, I always have love for you. So, with that, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Customs is out. Peace, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Alright, y'all, check this out. So, I'm 55. I have a little bit of a clearance issue with the hinges in the back, which I will have to fix, but a hinge hits the wheel tub right there, and obviously this stuff needs to be taken care of, but that'll all be filled in shortly. But I did some major, major reconstruction. Um, you guys saw that I have the doors opening, and uh, I mean... For me, my first time, they're pretty straight. So, you know. Anyway, um, as most of you know, those of you who have this kit or have had this kit, um, the down here in the engine bay is usually this part curves in right here, and uh, for the motor and whatnot. Well, putting the hinges in. Um, I couldn't do that because the, you see where it ended, uh, there it is, so, and the hinges were getting in the way, or it was getting in the way of the hinges, so what I did is I straightened up that, uh, front end here, and it looks like crap now, but it'll look a lot better when I get done with it, when I finish, uh, you know, cleaning it up and whatnot but yep 
that's a little bit of surgery and reconstructive surgery I had to do. So, anyway, I just wanted you guys to check that out and let me know what you think. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And, uh, I gotta do, you know, do the door jams or whatnot and finish doing the interior. But, uh, you know, I got a couple of the little interior pieces for each door here. And, uh, so the front door panel and then the rear panels there. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, so long did you guys check that out. So, hit me up, let me know. Big Daddy Customs. Peace.